well today i'm going to be teaching you an easy way you can draft your shoulder princess that pattern all you just need to do is to stay tuned to the end of this video and please do better subscribe and give this video a thumbs up also share to your friends this video is going to be two-sided one part of this is going to be the front um shoulder princess that pattern why the other uh, part of the video is going to be the back side of it and I just wanted to just give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click on the notification bell so that I will be encouraged to post lots and lots of useful videos to you thank you and have a great day okay let's get started I've already drawn out the shoulder line and this is the armhole line this is the bust line this is the under bust line and the bust point this is the under bust line and this is the half length measurement which is the waistline so the, how i got this line is i divided the ham hole by two ham hole measurement is 18 divided by two is nine so i took my ruler and my tape place it here from here downward I got my nine and then I will design the bust point measurement is 10 then the under bust measurement is 13 and the half length is 15 so this is what I've done so far so next I'm going to be uh, measuring the neckline so i'm um, measuring four as my neck nine and the depth is going to still be four the depth is four so i'm going to be using my french curls that's that so I am going to be measuring one inch below the, the shoulder line now I'll draw the line I'll take my measuring tape and all measuring the last to determine the midpoint of this line that I've drawn so the midpoint here is you can see from here to here this is um, three and a half so the midpoint here should be um, 1.05 and 1.75 so I'm going to mark the midpoint here so once I mark the, the midpoint, I'm going to take in half an inch here and one inch from this side and then one inch from this other side. So this will determine my depth. Mm -hmm. So note, I'm going to be structuring this neckline again. So we'll have a new neckline. This is half an inch here, and this is one inch here, and then the other inch. So, so now I'm going to be doing the span measurement, which is the dart. The dart measurement for this is um, the dart measurement for this is seven. Sorry for that. I will use my tape instead. So take 3.5 here. Then 3.5. Okay. 3.5 here. So these three lines will have 2.5. 
So I'm going to be rolling the line like, like this to connect it. This is 2.5, right? I'm sure. Okay, this is it. So I'm going to be connecting these two lines here. Three lines I'll connect it like this. The three lines that I have already marked, I'll connect it this way and then I'll locate the midpoint of this neck and then connect it this way. Like that. So the next thing is to take the dart measurement, the neck. The shoulder that measurements. I'm going to connect it to the boss point. So connect the other shoulder that measurement to the boss point. So this is it. Then next, I'm going to use my friend. I'm going to take one inch from the side, one inch from the other side of the waist, and then I'm going to be taking one and quarter inch from the side and one and quarter inch from this other side of this place so i'm going to connect with my ruler so note <coughs> excuse me note even though it's um half an inch you're taking from this side you're going to add quarter inch to this other side just depend on how you want it to fit so this is for the depth of the bus for it to come out really nice so now i'm going to be using my french curve to connect so this will give me a fine bust okay and then i'll do the same yeah so i'm using french curve because the boss is not a straight it's not sharp it's not straight so you no know, it's curved so this is how it looks like now from here i'm going to Look for the middle of this so next I'm going to be measuring this two inch that I've taken from here from both sides I'm going to be adding it to this part here so just to extend the line mm -hmm. so I'm going to add two inch to from this point here an extension of this shoulder so this is it don't forget this is So after doing that, I'm going to look for the midpoint of this my shoulder. Yeah. So the midpoint is for. So I'm going to um, take half an inch inside. So what I'm going to do next now is to add this 
in extension so this is what one inch point one one point one inch so i'm going to be having it here one point one inch that is from this place that is from this part that i've taken in this is for it to give you so now i'm going to be using my french curl to connect from here to here You know my hand O. The shape bus measurement is bus measurement is nine point five because it's thirty eight. Thirty eight divided by four is nine point five, which is supposed to be here. So looking at it, we have half an inch extra here, so it's going to be ten. So I'm going to be marking ten here. Note, I'm not putting any seam allowances, so after your measurements, you can add your seam allowance. I only put seam allowance at the side of the clothes, so I'm using two as my seam allowance. So, but for the bust part here, you're going to add your seam allowance once you place it on the clothes. You're still going to have your seam allowance to the center front of your clothes. So now I want to connect from this place to this place. So this is how it will look like. So this is it. Now after that. So next, we're going to take a measurement here, which is the bust measurement. It's 9.5, 9.5 plus this half an inch from this that measurement here will give you 10. Then we're going to take the um, waist measurement, which is 33.5, 33.5 divided by um, 4 give you 3 points. 8.375 plus this two here we're going to add it here which is 10.375 then we'll add our two which is our same allowance we're using two as our same allowance so we'll add the two here both up and to this other part and then connect now we are almost done with this pattern but we're just going to um curve this very well because what the bust point is not sharp so yeah so so that when you're cutting it out it won't be pointed and then for the neck you can decide to leave it this way if you're measuring four depending on the length you want if you measure five it means that you'll be cutting through cutting through this fat so but i think i'll leave it this way and yes we're done with our measurements the next thing now to do is to cut out our pattern and then i'll show you how it looks like after you cut make sure when you're cutting you use the blunt scissors scissors that you are not really using okay so then for our next video i'll be teaching you how you 
the drawing drafting the back pattern for this oh uh, yeah so I'll be using the other side of the paper to draft the back pattern so make sure when you're cutting your pattern you start from the down so that you won't make a mistake so you really advise to start from the down when you're cutting your pattern yeah so what i'll be doing now is once i'm placing my pattern on my clothes i'll be cutting it in fold yes that's what i usually do i cut my pattern on fold and then i cut my clothes on fold i put in my seam allowance note i only put in seam allowance at the side of the clothes i did not put in allowance at the front part so make sure when you want to cut your garments or your clothes you add your seam allowance at the front of it like the boss point and from the shoulder downwards to the waist so this is how it looks like one part of it and now let me cut out the center front that's the center side of so this is how the center front looks like. it looks like the center front and the, the side front so this is it thanks guys for watching please stay tuned for my next video i'll be teaching you how you can draw the um the shoulder that pattern the back side of it thank you so much please stay tuned for my next video and you'll get lots and lots of it please if you like this video and it's useful to you please comment and please like and subscribe to my channel because i promise you i'm not only going to be teaching you how to draft patterns i'll be teaching you different lots and lots of craft that you can do with your anchor and you can do with your clothes thank you so much for staying tuned to the end of this video and have a nice day bye bye Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can draft your easy way. <laughs>